All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how to create WordPress pages. Now, creating a WordPress page is pretty similar to creating a WordPress post. However, pages are outside of the hierarchical content structure in the WordPress blog. And also, pages don't show on your blog's homepage. Okay? So, to create a page, just go to Pages and click on Add New. Now, it's very, very similar to adding a new post. So I'm just going to type in a page name. And I'm also going to type in some text, too, as you can see in this text box. Now, I can also just edit this text how I want to. I can bold it if I'd like. I can change the text color, and then let's see what else I can do. Uh, I can also select some part of the content here. I can underline this content, and if I want to create a blog quote, then I can just highlight the entire line here, and then just blog, click on blog quote, okay? And if I want to undo that, then I can just click undo. So it's really very simple to create a page using the editor that you see here. Now, if you know HTML, then you can just change the visual mode to HTML, and then you can just continue editing your text here. And the next thing you'll see is custom fields. Now, custom fields allows you to do a lot of different things with your page. For example, you can make one page look completely different from the other while still overall using the same WordPress theme. Okay, so you can also display MP3 files, video files, etc. But usually, we would not want to do anything with custom fields. Alright, since there are a lot of other WordPress plugins that help you actually insert the custom fields without you having to do anything at all. Now, you can select to allow comments on this page or not. And you can also select to allow or disallow trackbacks and pingbacks on this page. Now, if I look on the right side, coming up right here, if I look on this right side, I can see the status of this page as a draft. The visibility is public, and I want to publish this post immediately. Now, very similar to creating a WordPress post, I can choose to make it password protected, which means that it's still available to the public, but it will need to enter a password that I specified here. Or I can put it as private, which means that it's only available to people who have logged in to this particular WordPress blog. Okay? Then I can choose to publish this post immediately. Or I can select a date in the future to publish this post. Now, unlike posts, however, pages do not have any categories. So there are no categories for you to assign pages to. The only thing you need, the only thing you can do with pages is to choose to assign it as a trial page under parent page. And if you have multiple pages, then you can select the order of the pages. Now this determines how the pages appear in your navigation menu, etc. So if you don't want this page to have a parent page, then just select no parent and then click on publish. Okay, so it says page is published and let's click on the view page to see how the actual page looks. All right, so this is my new page and you can see that the page actually appears in the navigation bar as well. But if I do go back to my blog home page, then I can't see this page at all because pages, as I mentioned, are not part of the regular blogging or the blog post hierarchy. So it will not appear on your main page according to the date and etc. Instead, it's a completely separate form of post, and the best use of pages actually is to create content that's not date-based, or create some content, for example, content about your site, job opportunities maybe, things that really don't change from time to time. 
and serve mainly to provide information about your business or your blog as a whole. And that's how easy it is to create pages with your WordPress blog. 